Hey everyone, how's it going? I am Jake Patton, aka Jake the Horror Movie Geek, aka Jake the Snake. Welcome to the Snake Pit, and I hope everyone's having a good day. Today, I'm going to be talking about the perfect trilogy of movies that to watch on Halloween, in my humble opinion. And there's plenty of Halloween movies you can watch, but you know these movies, these three movies are just perfect. The Night of the Demons trilogy. I love these movies. They are um, <laughs> they're just awesome. The first one is the best, naturally, but the second one is a really good follow up, and the third one. Has been called the weakest in in the, in the series. Which I, okay, it is. But having said that, it's a really fun movie, and it's and and for me, it works. I I, I really dig it. Um. So yeah. So here we are. No. Anyways, um, starting off with Night of the Demons. Classic. Um. Night of the Demons, directed by Kevin S. Tenney, written by Joe Augustine, released October 14th, 1988. And it stars Kathy Poldwell as Judy, Alvin Alexis as Roger, Al Havens as Stooge, <laughs> Alison Barron as Helen, Harold Eyer as Old Man, Billy Gallo as Sal. Sal's awesome. Lance Fenton as Jay. Karen Erickson as Judy's mother. Donnie Jeffcott as Judy's little brother. Billy. Okay. Linnea, Linnea Quigley as Suzanne. James W. Quinn as story clerk number one. Clark Jarrett as story clerk number two, <coughs> Amelia, Amelia Kincaid as Angela, and for those of you who don't know, um, uh, Amelia Kincaid's famous aunt, she is, uh, you, you might thank her for being a friend, Rue McClanahan, she, I guess she, she visited the set a few times, which is really cool, um. See. Joe Teresita as Franny. Philip, Philip Tanzini as Max. Marie Dan as the o old man's wife. And there's a director cameo by Kevin Tenney. He's one of the choppers in, in, in the convenience store. It, okay. But, so let me read the. The, the um synopsis to so so you all have a general idea of what the movie's about, but you know it's Halloween night and Angela is throwing a party, but this is no ordinary Halloween party. Everybody's headed to Whole House, a deserted funeral home, formerly the lair of a mass murder murder. But when the party goers decide to have a seance, they awaken something evil. And these party crashers have a thirst for blood. Now it's a battle for who can survive the night in a whole house. William Gallo, Amelia Kincaid, Kathy Poldwell, Jill Tereshita, and Scream Queen Linnea Quigley star in this 80s splatter fest directed by Kevin S. Penny. Yeah, I just I love this movie. Um, I was about six or seven when I first watched it, and my older brother Danny was having I, I I'm not sure if he was just having a sleepover, and they went ran some scary movies, or if it was in fact a Halloween party. So that sleepover. I don't remember that that particular detail, but um. I remember we watched Night of the Demons and the original Friday the 13th. 
and um, it might have been another movie. But I can't remember. Anyways, it wasn't until about three, uh, three, a few years later, when, when I was about ten or eleven, that I, I watched it again. But the only thing that I could remember that that stuck out, I, um, I mean, let me, let me just get the shit out of me. Sorry, but um, the main thing that I, I stood out was Judy's leg. It looked like a hot dog. Um, <laughs> so when in a, again later, I, obviously I, I could remember a lot more. But um, my mom's boyfriend at, at the time, Rich, he, he he told me about the movie, and I want to say that it sounded familiar. Maybe struck a chord or something. Just something sounded sounded familiar, and then I think it was on HBO or something, and I I watched it. Or, you know, he might have rented it for me, possibly. I, but I know he talked about it, and it just sounded like something that I had to see. But, <laughs> well, I guess see it again, but I just, at the time, I didn't remember that. I had already seen it. Oh, well. But anyways, I just, I love Night of the Demons. Um, <laughs> I, when I was about 12 or 13, though, um, maybe 14. Well, no, I was in, uh. I was a freshman. I made the mistake of crap. Was it a freshman or no? I take that back. I was in sixth grade. Six, sixth grade going. No, I was. In, oh well, moving on. I showed it to my mom, and she could only watch it part way. She was <laughs> hated it. Um, so it's not a movie to show to to your mom. Um, I think she forgave me eventually, but, um, yeah. Um, you know, it is what it is. Love you, Mom. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah. So, Night of the Demons 2. Um, great sequel. Um, It was directed by Brian Trenchard Smith, written written again by Joe Augustine, and James Pen Penzi Penzi. His last name is P E N Z I, so I I don't know. Um, and and it was released on October twenty sixth, nineteen ninety seven. Uh, ah, nineteen ninety four. <laughs> Excuse me. And it stars Christy Harris as Bibi, Darren Her Hermes as as Z-Boy, Bobby Jacoby as Perry, Merle Kennedy as Mouse, and, and, and returning for both sequels is uh, uh, Amelia Kincaid as Angela. Um, Brad McRae as Father Bob. Johnny, Johnny Moran as Johnny. Rick Peters as Rick. Jennifer Rhodes as Sister Gloria. And oh man, she is awesome. She's this really cool ass kicking nun. Um, and yeah, she's awesome. Christine Taylor as Terry, Hello. Zoe Chilling as Shirley, Lad York as Kurt, Mark Neely as Albert, Rachel Longaker. Not sure, I probably butchered that name, but I'm not sure how to pronounce it. As Linda and James W. Quinn as Demon Angela, which he provided the voice for Angela when she's in her demon form. Let's see. 
it's Halloween, and the teenagers from St. Rita, from St. Rita's High School want to party at the neighborhood's haunted house. Um, um, I just want to say that if you watched the first one, you would know that a haunted house is a house with ghosts in it, the spirits of people who've died. The spirits living in a house possessed have never existed in have never existed in spirit form. They're pure evil. They're demons. Anyways, like Angela says in the first one, this house is not haunted, it's possessed. So, the people who, who did the synopsis, uh, bad form. It's not a haunted house, it's a possessed house. There's a difference. Uh, okay, let me just continue on. So. For years, Whole House has, has sat in an eerie, an eerie silence. Tales of its haunted, possessed past have turned into gory jokes, and no one really believes anything ever happened there. However, Angela, the hostess from hell, is summoning her army of teen demons to the blood-curdling contest between the school's priest and, her, and herself. The Princess of Darkness... What was intended as an innocent evening of fun and games turns into a hell-raising, life-threatening ordeal. They wanted fun. Now they're in the trick-or-treat party of their lives. Okay. I, um, it's, it's it's just just as I think it's just as good as part one. Um, it, it's fun, and I think they use the same house. Or if they didn't, they made they made it look just like the, the original house. There, there isn't a whole house. There isn't a possessed house. It, it's not haunted. It's possessed. But, um... Yeah, this, I had fun with this. Um, also, Sister Gloria is amazing. Uh, she, um... She's this nun, and she kicks ass. Especially with a yardstick. Um, she has this line... <laughs> Um, uh, save a little room for the Holy Ghost. But, um, I don't know if you... Um, yeah. She carries a yardstick and she actually kicks mass with the yardstick, so hence the, the yardstick. Once again, save a little room for the Holy Ghost. Um, if you see the movie, you'll understand the reference. <laughs> um, but... Before I move on to Night of the Demons 3, um, I just want to mention uh, one of the best quotes from Night of, of the Demons. And it was from Stooge. Um, have you all seen the movie uh, A Christmas Story? When Ralphie goes, oh, fudge. And you all know what he meant. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quote Stooge, but I'm, I'm going to use Ralphie's word for... But uh, the, the fudge, uh, anyways. Okay, here's the just quote. Yeah, eat a bowl of fudge. I am here to party. Yeah, and then he, but anyways, yeah. I love that quote. <laughs> um, and I guess Hal Havens, who played Stooge, he, he heard um, John Belushi, um, he, 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 he hates using that in, it stand up or something at one time, something like that. So he he said that in, in the movie, and it's one of the best quotes ever. Uh, yeah. All right, and uh, you know, and along with uh, <laughs> Sister Gloria, leave a little room for the Holy Ghost. I, I think she says it both is actually save a little room for the Holy Ghost, and then at one, at one point she she says. Leave a little room for the Holy Ghost. But, you know, it, she's, Jennifer Rhodes killed it as, as Sister Gloria. Who, I love that character. Man. And, um, <laughs> she's just so much fun. Okay, moving on to Night of the Demons 3. Night of, Night of the Demons 3, directed by Jimmy Kaufman, who was a uh, Canadian director. And all, and the movie was filmed, I'm, I believe in, in Canada, and they used Canadian Canadian actors. Um, 
But it was written by Kevin S. Tenney, director of the original Night of the Demons, which is awesome. Oh, excuse me. And it was released on October 7th, 1997. It stars Larry Day as Larry, Amelia Kincaid as Angela, Chris Holden Reed as Vince, Gregory Kalpakis as Nick, Harris Sloan as Lois, and and Terry Sloan was on a show called, was on Rockstar in excess. So, which I thought was so cool. Um, as she was great on the show, she she lasted like like four or five rounds before getting the boot. But she was cool. But it's cool to see her in as Lois in Night of the Demons Three. Okay. Christian Tessier as Orton, Joel Gordon as Reggie, Patricia Rodriguez as Abby, Stephanie Baudouris as Holly, Ian McDonald as Quickie Mark Click, Lasta Vrana as Dewhurst. Um, there's some other cop characters, but I guess I should include them, but. They're, I don't know, um, the characters were alright, so, but I, I just, I don't feel the need to include them. Oh well. A anyways, um, well, oh, crap. I forgot to mention Night of the Demons 2, um, <laughs> I, I, I was staying at, 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 I was staying with my dad. And his his roommate Joe, and I, and I I I'd finally seen uh I, I I finally saw the first one and uh, again and and where, where I could remember it and I loved it and and I, I wanted to see part two and we, we called around he, he called and and then we finally he called. Video connection, which was a uh, an awesome video store at, at the time, and I don't think they had it to rent, but they had it to buy. Or maybe they, they they did have to rent, but they told them that they had it to buy, and I asked them if we could if we could get it. So we did, and he got it for me. And and Dad, Joe, and I watched it, and it was it was awesome, you know. Um, yeah. And there's a line in Night of the Demons 2 uh, where Shirley asks Sister Gloria about our. <laughs> well, um, something that. Well, you know what? I'm just not gonna. Um, where, um, well, <sighs> it sounds like. Ratio, er, <laughs> Ali, um, yeah. Well, sh surely to, uh, you know, she, she asked Sister Gloria this to, uh, you know, to prove that she's a badass, which, you know, her character was. I, I, I like the character, but yeah, anyways. And my dad told me what that was in sixth grade. And you know, it's, oh, it's <laughs> just, a, just a memory I have for that. Okay. Um. Anyways, N Night of the Demons Three. Um. I watched that on. Well, it was on Cinemax, I think. One t or HBO. One of the two, and and I, it was on. It was in uh, nineteen ninety nine that I first watched it and. And I thought it was cool, um, but you know the house was different, and but 
I did recognize Angela, so that that was that was cool seeing that. But let me read the synopsis for this one. Okay. It's Halloween. The gates of Hull House have creaked open once again, and Angela is waiting for her treats. When a group of rambunctious teens take refuge in the foreboding funeral home to escape the law, they soon realize their grave error. Packed with thrills, chills, and bloody spills, Night of the Demons 3 is a party to die for. Um, I, this is, it's a fun sequel. It's, yeah, it's, um, there's, a um, it, it's a fun sequel. It's, I like the characters. The, the characters make the movie work for me. Um, the house, not so much. I mean, it's a cool house, actually. It's just... Not, um, you know, it's hard to connect. If they didn't tell you that they were going to the whole house, you wouldn't know that it was supposed to be the whole house from the first two Night of the Demons movies. But, you know, having said that, I, I love Night of the Demons 3. There's a, the character of Dewhurst is so, so fun. He's, um, he's actually a, a character from. Um, Witchboard, which is another Kevin Tenney film, and he wanted to bring the actor <laughs> who played him in the first one, which was Burke, Burns, or something like that, and um, they're, they're using only Canadian actors or something like that, he couldn't use them, which sucks. But Vlasta, Vrana, V-R-A-N-A, is his last name. He he was great as Dewhurst. He was entertaining. I um, well, <laughs> I thought I don't like what happens to him because me, I, I watch the movie and uh, I connect with the characters. And even <laughs> even though the even if it's a horror movie, they're gonna you know, some characters I want I'm ready to see get off, and other characters I'm like, no, you, you you're gonna kill them, but but um, so spoiler spoiler alert. Or Dewhurst, but his character was awesome, and Vlasta Verna, Verna, <laughs> and he, um, his performance was great, and, but, yeah, much like, um, Sal in the first one, Spo spoiler alert, yeah, poor Sal, and, and, um, Perry in Night of the Demons 2, he, <sighs> I you know he, I don't know. Horror movies, I guess, characters have to die, even the ones you like. <laughs> oh well, but um, yeah, I'm. But I am just very happy to have these movies, and and I'm so glad that that Scream Factory, um, released them uh, on. On Blu-ray and the first one on 4K. Um, what? Um, they're just the fun movies and perfect trilogy for Halloween. So check them out and uh, yeah. So I hope you all have a great day and take care and. Um, I'll see y'all hopefully in my next video. Peace.